All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Snippity here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys this new cool effect that I did in my last video. And that was basically it. Um, basically, all these lines and points come together and form your text. And sorry for the low quality, but my computer sucks really bad, so I have to play it on 360p. All right, so let's get started. You want to go into After Effects, make a new composition, 1280 by 720 or whatever your settings are. Then you want to go to Layer, New, Solid, make sure it's comp sized. And then what you want to do is you want to grab your text tool and make some text. I'm going to go with Snippity, just make it big for you guys to see. Alright, that's big enough. And then what you want to do is you want to have your text layer selected. And then you want to go to Effect, Robite, Plexus. Now, this, eff this effect right here might not be there for all of you guys. It's because um, it's a third party plugin, and you guys have to go on the internet and actually download it for this tutorial. So, back to the tutorial. Is what you want to do right now is that you notice that your text is gone, and if you play it through the timeline, you'll notice that nothing happens. And now you have these little two tabs over here Plexus Toolkit and Plexus. Plexus Toolkit is the, I guess, the manipulator. You can add objects and effectors, and Plexus is like the main control system where you adjust points, add textures, and whatnot. So what you want to do now is you want to add object, and then you want to add a paths. Once you add paths, you'll notice that your text is turned into a bunch of dots and lines. And with this, simply, you can't do anything. It just It's a still image. What you want to do to make it move is you want to go to add an effector, and you want to add a noise. Once you add a noise, you'll notice down here, it says noise amplitude, and you can mess around with the setting, and it'll deform your text to a bunch of lines and dots. Whee! Alright, so, what I did to get my effect is, I started, let me just put it to zero. Alright, you want to start at the beginning of your timeline, and you want to start at a really high value. I'm going to go with 3000, and now all the particles are spread out. You want to hit the keyframe the time watch right here at the beginning of your timeline then you want to move forward however many seconds you want I'm just gonna go with 10 and then you want to change the value back down to 0 and then once you do that you'll notice that once you play it through all these lines and dots come together and they form your text and now you can get like get to like make it cooler you can add another um, effect you can add a glow to it Alright, having some technical difficulties here. Once again, really shitty computer. Alright, so you want you can go type in glow and you can add a glow to it. Just go down here, just make sure. And then you can change the radius and it'll just it'll look cooler in the end rather than just have it look like that. You can have it look like this. You can change the color. Do whatever you would please. And whatnot. Alright, so basically that's the end of this tutorial, guys. And um, thanks for watching and enjoy. And if you have any requests, please comment down below. Peace.